Well, I just had a bit of a scare. Uh, I had a OS update for the Mac computer I'm using, and after I did that, you know, that I did that like yesterday, but I'm playing the game again today, but it like, at first the screen was stuttering, like it wasn't keeping up with like moving the hand here, it wouldn't sew up on the computer, so I th and I thought I resolved that, like after loading a bit, it uh, started going again, but then I, when I went to edit to test the videos to see how they were going, I couldn't hear the commentary, so... <laughs> Uh, sometimes, you know, when you update your OS system, I think that was redundant, but anyway, <laughs> when you update those, it makes them incompatible with, you know, your software. So that made me nervous, but then I thought to update the Elgato software, because it, I didn't feel like updating to the new one, just because it seemed to have features that I didn't need, and that would just take up more space. You know, but after updating it, it's working now. So, I want I don't know if that's a coincidence or not, but we're packing business. I was real afraid for a second. I'm always nervous, annoyed. So, in the last episode, we were yes, I remember. We uh, we found the white robes, which I called white shirt, because <laughs> it it just looks like a shirt on the image. So anyway, that's something for the white maids. They equip it, but it's the same as a gold, uh, let's see, where's the armor? It's the same as a gold, uh, ring, or whatever that is. Bangle? Who knows? So, and it'd probably be better for her to have the opal, and I would swap, let's see, where even is that? Like, she could have that, and then... The opal could go over here, and then he could have the gold. Or maybe I could give ice to the opal, and that would increase his defense by enough that it's worth it. Because if he is going to be in the party lead, then... Not the lead, necessarily. And then he could have the... Wait, can he equip gauntlets? Yeah, the power gauntlet. Um, I don't know if he can, and even if he can, Fred has that. But then, uh... Okay, so what about those gloves? Okay, so he, we have extra gloves, so I could trade that over here. And let's see where that puts him. This would be above 27. Okay. So he can have that... Absorb is now 33, which it'd be cool to have like more. Let's see if 861, 64. It was kind of nice to not have to worry about her, but at least he can take magic hits because of her other equipment. And the party is a little more evened out now. Like now, uh, let's see, Zake's. Okay, he has the gloves, ripping and gold, and I don't think there's much we can equip other than that. So he's all equipped out, and I think it would be ideal to give her the opal, but uh, since he can equip something that's pretty good as it is. But then again, the white robes is also used for healing. It casts heal too, and she does have, you know, a lot of healing magic that she wouldn't need to... Uh, well, it's not heal to, it's, uh... Well, let's just review that. Yeah, it's not... He I think it's just heal one? Maybe it's heal... No, no, it wouldn't be heal two, because that's would that be really good in battle. Well, anyway, so it would cause... Uh, heal... Which would save her some level three. And she could cast more cure twos. And the only other person that I could give it to, because Zakes already has his healing rod, is, like, Fred is already 
you know, fully equipped, and we don't want to take away his equipment, so we could give it to Iced, but Iced is already preoccupied with punching things, like, there's really not a reason for him to use a turn to heal, because it'd probably be better spent attacking something, because he can kill something that would cause more damage than what we would probably heal anyway, so that seems kind of redundant, so I guess it's mostly appropriate to give to her, and then we'll just have to remember to use that item to cast, uh, heal, and then the advantage of that will be, we'll be able to do more harm spells, but that's irrelevant because he can do fire too, and I think that does just as much as harm to undead, so harm too is pretty much irrelevant as far as I can tell. Heal is, so basically means he can use more cure twos, which is probably fair enough. So our defense stats are a little more evened out, and the person in second place can take more hits than he could before, which is worthy enough. So he's not as defensive as he was. I guess we could, at, at the very least, just kind of experiment and see what that does for us. You know, if it's really a big disadvantage or not. And so he can heal every turn now without having to worry about running out of magic. So there's a big advantage to that too, especially since he's not much of an attacker. I mean, she has that nice... You know, she has the magic weapons, but, you know, those don't necessarily do a lot, so we can either, you know, use a turn to heal a bit of damage or do a bit of damage to enemies. So I think that's probably just as well. So now I just want to make sure everybody has enough HP. You know, she's a little bit low, and he's a little bit... No, nah, he's good. Ice is the only one who's, like, a hundred less than what he would be, but he can at least take another couple hits before we need to worry about it. Let's see, I think I was going clock or counterclockwise. So in this case, uh, they don't have a lot to do for attacking. I mean, he probably could use his instant kill magic, but on the other hand, Iced pretty much has instant kill fists, so there's not much point in that, so he could just use this to have a better opportunity to get a healing turn in, or move in. Does this kind of keep us above the threshold of danger, I guess you'd call it? Oh, can't heal any more of that. Whatever this is, it's armor, right? Because that's what's filled up. Well, I hate to get rid of an expensive thing. Uh, I guess we can just get rid of gloves. Oops. Yeah, that's right. Maybe one of these is something. Oh, there's the other ribbon. Let's see. Okay, he has the ribbon. Now the thing about... Oh! Okay, that was actually a good trade. You know, I was saying earlier that we don't have a point in having ice to have a healing item, but I forgot that the healing helmet is something that you use as an item to heal. For some reason I was thinking like, Oh, it's a helmet, so when you use Defend, that Defend also causes Cure, but <laughs> there's no Defend command in this, so he would actually just use that as an item. Not that he probably ever will, but he has the option, so we actually have three people who can heal. And Fred, he has Black Magic, so he already has enough options as it is, because he has Physical Attacking and Black Magic, whereas now he has Physical Attacking and some Healing, and she has some some offensive magic and healing, and he has mostly offensive magic and some healing. So I think that's mostly appropriate. So the only other thing was, uh, we guess we... And then the ribbon, I was talking about... I, I guess it, her wall move would be useful for Fred now. Instead of Iced. Because I was thinking about giving it to Fred, but on the other hand, if he is going to be wearing equipment now, it may as well be the ribbon. 
since he's going to be wearing the opal thing anyway. So that's actually worked out quite nicely. So he can continue wearing the helmets that only he can... Oh, hey, he has a heel helmet too. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to that. Okay, so everyone can heal. It's just a big healing happy f uh, party. So where's that other... Uh, you have it, right? Yeah, there it is. Oops. It's holding my controller funny. Oh, an opal shield. No one can carry that, though. Let's just make sure, though. Yeah. So that's interesting. I didn't realize I used this much of his magic. That's interesting. Okay, so obviously we are going in a clockwise fashion, or counterclockwise, I mean. That might kill him. Okay, so we don't even get a healing turn. Oh well. If I ever really need to do that, I could just have, like, everyone heal in that one turn. Oh great, another thing we have to drop. It's probably for something we can't even equip. In that case, we just drop the thing that we can't equip that's the most... Uh, useless. Probably silver helmet. I think that's probably what it's gonna end up being. Because I, I think we'd rather sell the dragon an opal armor. So yeah, that seems right. Opal band, or whatever. Once again, I'm pretty sure no one can equip that. He can't equip that, can he? No. So I guess we'll just find an opportunity to sell those. I don't know if we'll get that. I don't know if this is this like the last dungeon. I mean, I think there's like a second part in a way, but it's not necessarily, uh, like there might be a part above this, so it's sort of kind of in the same dungeon, but not exactly. Oh, we got to heal. Yay. Although Zix is fully healed. Is this the one we already came out of? I think it might be. So I might have just went around the one that was on the bottom. I think that's what happened. I kind of don't recall since that was a couple of days ago, I think. But yeah, it's kind of crazy that everyone can heal now. In fact... Since we know Ice can take, take those eyes out immediately, we kind of may as well just have Fred be healing too, because he's not going to be able to take the eye out by himself, so he won't be saving us any damage, because we'll, we're going to need Ice to do it. Some, uh, here we go, there's some more robots. We might consider that further down a wizard vampire. think about that. bottom one first. <laughs> the one who was uh, defended against fire is the one who didn't... Uh... I wonder if he would have done more with just his regular attack. But then if we just use his regular attack, then we aren't sure who we're gonna hit. Can you? Uh, I, 
guess we'll just have to take his word for it that they can see it, because we can't see it. <laughs> this is like a text adventure game. All up in here. Rock, we're gonna rock and golem. Oh, right. He, he's not gonna be doing that. I think these guys are strong against magic, too. So there's not much you can do, and light's not gonna do any good. Why does he have a wizard rod? Is that the thing Ellie should have, or does she have it too? Let me take a look at that. Oh, I must have traded it for the Thor hammer. Which is just as well. So I don't know if they're strong against status equi uh, things, so... I don't recall them being very dangerous, so I don't think I should even try to do anything too crazy. Wait, why does she have the Zeus thing? Do we have two of those? Oh, wait a second, that's the defensive item, so I swapped those around by accident, I believe. I guess that's just as well. Uh, we shouldn't waste Nuka, though. In fact, we shouldn't waste a lot of these. Wait a second, these guys cost slow, don't they? Okay, let's just try Quake. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. is okay, I guess. I'm thinking they might be the wrong... Uh, the wrong element to try something like that. So, what should we do? Oh, I guess you could try casting Mute. Uh, we won't do that this time, though, until we get another batch of three. Honestly, well, let me try the mage thing just one more time. And other than that, uh, there's not really much for her to do offensively. We may as well just heal. Good thing Iced hasn't been slowed down, otherwise we might have to cast some fast. Okay, so that's not any more effective. I shouldn't be surprised. In line with what I was saying earlier, we may as well just have Ice to be the only one attacking. It's a little weird. Oops. No, we don't want Zakes to attack. Oh. Man, we could have gotten so much healing if you just didn't go first. Alright, let's make sure I got these rearranged correctly. the ring. Did she have, uh, well, she can't equip that. Okay, so, weapon. Wizard, why does she have that? Or why does she not, not have that? Especially since he casts Confusion. Silver thing anymore, I don't think. Wait, oh. 
Okay, that did get rid of the equipping. Okay, I think that's good now. She has the Thor hammer, she has the mage, she has the wizard. He has the light. He also has the light. He has power and armor. Okay, he has everything equipped he can. He has opal, he has ribbon. Can't do anything with those. She has ribbon, white, pro ring. The only thing I think she could equip is gloves, maybe? And, uh, he has ribbon gold. And he needs the Zeus, because that's his attacking thing. And I don't think there are any other attacking items. I don't believe there are. Okay. So we're good on that end. <laughs> so I meant to record this... Oh, what's this? I guess this is just lore stuff. <laughs> so I was going to record this after the Star Wars Theory video, or the stream, but not only was it delayed by half an hour, and this is a century, uh, let's see what they're a week to. I bet electric, but maybe not. May as well try both of them out. Obviously, it's not weak to that. I, it has to be at least 50 to be considered weak, I think. Ah, oh, there it is. It's weak to electric, like I thought. So anyway, that was delayed by like a half an hour because the game went... It, you know, half time wasn't until later. <laughs> and then, uh... Well, I didn't think I'd stick around for the Q&A, but, you know, it was kind of analyzing. It wasn't just, you know, personal or things unrelated to the topic, so I still stayed later. Whoa, this seems tough. You might want to do some kind of... Okay. I wonder if they are weak to lightning. I don't think they are. Okay, so we don't want to use slow. Let's try dark and see how that goes. Again, we'll do our one-two punts of doing fire and electricity, and seeing how that does. They might be... Wait, have we fought these guys before? I do remember Cremate. I'm not sure I remember Red Hydra, though. It's not... 29 isn't terrible, but obviously they aren't weak to it. This is certainly going to get annoying, though. Okay, they're weak to electric. Quite clearly. So I don't think that's going to have an effect, and even if it does, it wouldn't... Oh. Well, even though it affected that one, it's not going to have an effect on uh, their magic cremate attacks. This is going to make things take a while, but... Oh wait, she has lightning attacks too. The only question is... Yeah, people are damaged enough that it might be better off for her to heal, and then assume that... Uh... Actually... Let's have her cast heal too, because we do, we do get kind of low now. But the nice thing about it is that it's evenly distributed, so it's not like one person's getting healed too much and then everybody is not. Everyone else is not. Assuming we get that off before his electric attack, because I think that might take them out. Whoa, five sixty-five. Okay, that's nice. Truth be told, Iced is still not entirely full yet. Like, I mean, he's kind of far away. He's not in danger, but he's still far away from full. Oh, that didn't take that one out. In that case... 
this. Oh, right, I hit his items. Okay, we won't have to deal with that one. We won't get some healing done. So even if that one attacks, it'll kind of be counteracted by this heal. Oh, she's already at full. Wait a second, that doesn't cost heal. That cost casts, uh, easy to dodge. That cost casts, uh, okay. I'm completely, uh, so that's why it isn't necessarily a good idea to give her that, because that, okay, uh, So I'm obviously quite confused. I mean, I understand now. I was confused, but now I once was blind, but now I see. I might have to reconsider my strategy now that I forgot that, that that's what that caught casts. Um, we're at 26 minutes, though, so that's about as much as one episode should be. Let's just take a look at what that is. Okay, so that actually c casts uh, in Invisa 2, which is fine ish because that gives us more options for exit in Fog 2. And it is a nice defensive spell. In a way, it's actually better than healing because, you know, there's a chance that we won't even get hit by at least physical attacks. It wasn't any good against those cremates, so it would have been better for her to be casting something else, but that's why I'm glad we ended up going with heal too, because we, we, we could have been getting more damaged and I didn't get us healed, and I might not have even noticed. Although I think I would have as I began to not see the numbers go up, because when I did cast the, uh, the white robe the second time, I thought, oh, Fred's HP, I guess it's, his max is lower than I thought. And then, uh, Iced, I know his is above 400, so that's why it was very suspicious, why I caught on. <laughs> so, I read that it cast Invisa 2, but I just forgot that that's what it did. And, you know, that was like yesterday, so I don't remember anything from yesterday. So, uh... <laughs> Uh, we didn't do a whole lot this episode. I mean, it only took about five minutes to discuss what we were going to do with the, uh... Our new equipment that we were picking up. But, uh, let's see. I think I can take him out by himself. So, uh, in the next episode, we are going to... Just move on. I don't know why we didn't get much progress this time, but... I guess half an hour worth of progress is still progress, even if it isn't actually moving through a dungeon, because it, it still took a half an hour to do. Okay, because <laughs> it's not like I was wasting a whole bunch of time, I don't think. Maybe it did take longer to go through all those items, though. Like, who should have what equipped? So, <laughs> uh, see you then.